Hi, Chris Walls from Second Swing. We're in Phoenix, Arizona this morning at Ping headquarters, talking to Marty Jerson about brand new Ping products. We're gonna talk right now about Glide 2.0 Stealth Wedges. 2.0 Glide, huge for you guys in 2017, giving players a lot more spin. You've got an exciting new finish, but there's also been some other slight modifications made as well to improve performance. Tell us about the new wedges. Yeah, so the 2.0 has been doing great for us, especially with our tour players. Um, and uh, when we talk about the Glide 2.0 Stealth, I think we need to mention our tour players as well because they've really yearned for a club that looks a little smaller in the playing position, uh, a little d more anti-glare finish. Some of them, when they open it up, they get the sun reflecting off the face in certain uh, shots. They wanted something to help solve that problem. And some of them yearn for a little more muted impact feel. Okay. And so we worked on this Glide 2.0 stealth finish to address all those things that our tour players were looking for. And it, the golf marketplace is going to love that about these wedges as well. So we switched the material from 431, which feels great in the Glide 2.0, to 8620, so we have a carbon steel. Okay. So the impact sound is a little more muted with these wedges, and our players have really, really liked that, or especially our tour players. Gotcha. And I know there's also uh, in the higher lofted bottles, you've sort of added like a half groove on the bottom of the face to help again with that spin. Yeah. So uh, you know we've done a couple subtle. They they look like subtle things, but they're a really big deal when it comes to spin and friction. We've added a half groove really, really close to the lead edge. So what we've seen is that when we're looking at our high speed video, even on a normal chip shot or pitch shot on a dry, what looks like a dry condition, you'll be picking up a little moisture out of the grass before the impact. So this okay. helps us get a little more groove area to displace that out of the way and get better friction between the ball and the face. Outstanding. At the end of the day, you get more spin. Um, you'll also notice that we don't paint fill the bottom groove. Uh, on the Glide Stealth uh, wedges, and that actually gets a little more volume in the groove as well to get a little more spin. So a couple really unique things, and they look super clean in the playing position. And of course, when it comes to wedge play, it's important <coughs> for players to pick wedges that will fit their sort of swing characteristics, the conditions where they play. You've got four unique sole grind options to help players perform better around the greens and on full shots with wedges. Walk us through, if you would, each of the four sole grinds. Yeah, that's a great question. I think there's a lot of confusion and what, which wedge is, is right for you can be a, a daunting or intimidating thing. So we'll try to make that as easy as possible. So if you have a steep attack angle, you take big divots, or you're looking for the most forgiveness out of your wedge, the wide sole is going to be the choice for you. Okay. Uh, if you have soft playing uh, conditions, so soft bunkers or, you, or uh, soft turf where you take big divots, the wide sole is going to give you the biggest rudder, so to speak, the widest skid plate to move through uh, the turf or the sand. Okay. And then we go to the SS, that's our standard sole, it's the max versatility. Uh, if, if you kind of play in a variety of conditions, if you take medium sized divots, the standard sole or SS is gonna, just going to be give you the most overall versatility. Okay. Now, if you're a player who plays somewhere, I mean, here in Arizona we get this, a little firmer bunkers, firmer turf, uh, and you want to have more creativity around the greens, open the face a lot, hit more exotic short game shots. The TS, thin sole, it has more of a half moon grind to it, is going to be the selection for you. So between those three, we have great fitting options right in there. Now, if you're looking for the ultimate club out of the bunker, uh, the ES, this is the I2 sole, uh, is phenomenal. It's th absolutely the best bunker club. That's why we still have a lot of players use the I2 uh, wedge and have, have come to enjoy our modern version of the sole design. It gets the ball out of the bunker super easy because of the, the neck design, the scoop sole, and we've really improved the lead edge to make it a lot better and more functional on full shots compared to the original I2. Marty, we appreciate it. Thanks. All right, Chris. Thank <laughs> you.